Welcome friends and collectors. Thank you for joining me for an all new edition of Diecast Emporium. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the final mix of Matchbox Real Working Rigs for the year 2022. I gotta tell you guys, I'm very stoked about this mix, particularly because of this model right here, which is an all new tooling, and we will take a much closer look at that here momentarily. But first, let's go ahead and look at all five of these on their card so you can get an appreciation for the card art and for those of you that are into numerology you know which number these are there are 16 real working rigs in the total collection for 2022 this one is number seven of 16 the international durastar 4400 rollback tow truck now i'm going to be honest with you at least in my opinion this is the most underwhelming of all of these we've seen this tooling so many times in the past and we've even seen it in this livery and color scheme before so nothing really of note to add on it, other than if you are a completionist, I would assume you probably would pick one of these up. On the back of each of these cards, you'll notice the circle over here at the right-hand side. That depicts some of the working features on the Matchbox Real Working Rigs, and because that's in fact what they're entitled to do. They're supposed to be functional, educational toys and collector's items for the adult collectors among us. So... That's the rollback tow truck in blue and gray. Nothing great. We've seen that before. Speaking of things that suck, next up we have Freightliner M2 106, number seven of, excuse me, number two of 16. Now, I joke about this, but this truck's primary responsibility is indeed to suck up things from sewers, porta potties, uh, water overflow, etc., etc. Um, it does that by this large, it almost looks like a, a small elephant trunk. That essentially goes down into the sewer system and sucks up all the waste, and it goes back into the tank, which can then be driven off-site and properly and uh, environmentally appropriately disposed of. So that's what this truck primarily does. Uh, again, as I said, 2 of 16, Freightliner M2 106. A really cool casting, and there are several of these in here that, again, if you are an adult collector, and you should be if you're watching my channel... Um, Several of these scale out to be very close to 187 scale. So if that is your jam, I would recommend picking up at least three of these that I can tell you right now scales out perfectly. And uh, I will mention which three once we have them opened. Okay, next up, from one Freightliner 106 to the next one, this is the Freightliner M2 106 satellite truck, otherwise known as the news truck Number 8 of 16. We have seen this vehicle in this livery before, uh, and in more recent times, we've seen it in kind of this yellow livery. And uh, I will go again into more detail once we open those. Here's the back of the card, what it looks like. And the functionality on this is that the satellite dishes located on top of the truck can be raised or lowered. All right, one for the agricultural fans among us. Here is the MBX for Matchbox Mega Tractor. This is not a licensed vehicle, meaning that it is heavily influenced on several real-world OEM articulating heavy-duty tractors, such as like the John Deere 9620 uh, and the Case Steiger. Several of those are very, very reminiscent of this vehicle, but obviously it doesn't have a license associated with it, which is one of the biggest complaints I have. Other than that, though, for what Matchbox refers to as Matchbox Original, which is basically marketing talk for an unlicensed product, it's pretty damn good in the fact that it looks realistic enough. In addition to the tractor, you get a cultivator, which is the trailer that is used to till up the soil uh, in preparation for planting. So very, very cool that it comes with a trailer. And again, obviously the main working feature is that the trailer hooks to the articulating tractor. All right, I have saved the very best for last. We have number one of 16. By the way, that's five of 16 if I forgot to mention it. Number one of 16, the brand new tooling for this year. This is the Western Star 49X. Awesome, awesome looking truck at first glance. Now, the Western Star 49X is a heavy haul vehicle that you can get, obviously, as a dump truck or a concrete mixer or a heavy haul tractor to haul around low boys among three applications you can get for it. So it is a severe duty vehicle as they refer to it and i gotta tell you it's severely cool at least in this series so on the back there's what it looks like showing you the working features of the dumping uh, dump box and therefore the automatically opening tailgate at the back 
All right, guys, that's an overview of the cards, the numbers, what everything looks like. When we come back, we will have the spin table out, and we'll take a much closer look at each of these, so don't go anywhere. All right, everyone, thank you for sticking with me. We have the spin table out. Before we take a look at the blue one, let's take a look at the other international rollbacks I have in my Matchbox or at Working Rigs collection. This one is white, obviously, with a gray rollback box. The next one is a little bit different in that it's white with a black rollback um, body or, or chassis component on it, whatever you want to call it. Basically, the element that hauls around vehicles, so there you go. Next up, we have the red one. Again, I believe that was also released either this year or last year. Either way, it wasn't too long ago. It was relatively recent. And then finally, we have the blue one, which I'm going to leave up here as we open the new blue one, because I want to see up close if there's really any noticeable differences between the two. So we're going to have it cracked open. So this is the old one. This is the new one. And I can tell you that the new one does appear to have a little bit brighter shade of a blue on the cab. Uh, the decos are the same. Everything appears to be exactly identical, uh, even up to the taillights. So we're going to go ahead and remove the old one and just stick with the new one. Now, this is a favorite among collectors and children alike because of the play value that you get with this vehicle. So it does slide back and down for... The ability to load a matchbox or a hot wheel size vehicle on the back and tow it away the other working feature is the tow bar at the back so just like in the real world there's the tow bar you could see this truck with a vehicle on the back and an additional vehicle being towed behind on the the tow bar because the front axle basically sits on top of the tow bar so there you go you can see kind of what it looks like uh, i mentioned we're not going to spend too much time on this because we've seen it we've even seen this livery before but for those that are new that may not have seen it, there you go. All right, next. Let's open up the Freightliner M2 106 VAC truck. And while I'm doing that, here is the other one that I have in my collection. Again, a previous release for Matchbox, or from Matchbox, I should say. Um, that one that you're seeing right now, I think was one of the first of the second run of Matchbox Real Working Rigs. What I mean by that is they were very prominent in the late 2000s. And then they took about a five or six year break where we didn't get any real working rigs at all. And since they have come back, that was one of the first ones that they um, that they released in the line. So that's the old one. This is the new one. Deco's paint choice for this, I'm not really sold on. I'm going to be honest with you. I just don't, I don't believe it looks particularly realistic. Um, but it does make an excellent starting point. And I said I would mention this during the, the first chapter of the video that if you are a model railroader or you collect trucks in 187 scale, which is HO scale, this makes an excellent vehicle as a starter model to do some customizations on it, whether that's swapping out the wheels and tires for more realistic alternatives or completely painting it and replicating it in waste management or some other real-world company. But let's just take this one at face value. So the tank can dump, and it will swing open at the back. So when you're done for the day, you can get all of your nasty material out of it. And then the other working feature is this large suction hose. And I mentioned before, this is what goes down into sewers and sucks out, again, all the nastiness. And it goes back into the tank. You can see that you can swivel it to the left, right, or center uh, for a transport mode. The only thing that it doesn't do, which would have been an increase in the tooling cost, so obviously that's probably why they didn't do it, is have the ability for the hose to go down farther uh, or extend out in a telescopic fashion, to use a, a large term. Um, but overall, it is a great model. Not, not sold on the livery, but the model itself, excellent, makes a great starter for customs. Uh, and again, it is a favorite of adult collectors, myself included. All right, next up. I don't have another version of this to show you guys the, the Matchbox tractor. Um, I know that it was previously released. I mentioned that before, but it has been a while. So for me, it's kind of exciting because this is my first opportunity to see it. There's the tractor, and I intentionally have left it at an articulated angle to show you how, that, how it steers, I should say. And then this is the cultivator, the cultivating trailer that hooks onto the back of it. I doubt both of these are going to fit on the table. At the same time, well, we might get lucky. Um, so 
Again, a great looking Matchbox Real Working Rigs model. Absolutely love this. It is based, as I said, on the on the real life uh, tractors that are similar to this uh, with articulated steering. So most tractor companies, including Challenger, Case, IH, uh, John Deere, they all make a, tra a tractor exactly like this. Aside from the articulation joint, as you can see here, the wheels will roll. I do like that it has the warning triangle decaled on the back. It's not just a place where you would normally expect to see it. They actually went forth and added that little decal. I like that a lot. The other decals on this read, Crown 1100 Biodiesel Tractor, obviously, keeping with Matchbox primary goal of being sustainable uh, and as environmentally friendly as possible. For the trailer, if you look, the different discs underneath the cultivator, they can be made to move and spin, so it's quite a nice piece. All right, next up. While I get the news van out of the box, here is the yellow one that we have seen before. You guys have seen this before. Uh, this is the stock version. Now, I did a heavily customized version for my little HO layout that I have based on this exact truck, and I will hopefully get both of these up here at the same time. Some of the changes that I did included highlighting the running lights, adding some antennas, swapping out the wheels and tires for a more realistic alternative, and then uh, highlighting some of the lights at the back and at the front, as well as having a New York license plate on it. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I show you that to tell you this. These real working rigs vehicles scale out perfectly a lot of times for 187 or HO scale, and you can quickly build up a fleet of your local town's news trucks, or this also could be used for a satellite command post, whether it could be a police vehicle or a fire vehicle, an incident command center, this makes an excellent model to do your own customizations on, so it is perfect for that. Okay, enough talking about the old ones. Let's open the new one. So here it is. Predominantly a white tooling. The base on these are metal. Uh, the body it seems to be plastic. The cab seems to be metal. Uh, again, the working features, the satellite dishes can be deployed upwards. This is in a Channel 6 News livery. Almost any city you live in will either have a Channel 5 or a Channel 6, so okay, that's that's good, realistic. Um, there is no actual TV channel associated with it. What I mean by that is there's no NBC, uh, there is no uh, Fox or ABC. But I will highlight on this a couple things that I really like. Number one, they detailed the grill, and the number two, they detailed the lights. If you look on the stock version of the yellow one, you're going to have to wait for it to swing back around. But that detail, or those details, were not present. They were completely blank and left off. And you can see what a huge difference it makes when they take the time to do the decos and add the front grille, uh, as well as the headlights and the turn indicators. I just think it looks awesome. Now, obviously, it will still require a little bit more modification to make adult collectors happy with taillights, uh, detailing the ladder, etc., etc. But for the most part, for a $5 quote-unquote toy, well-executed, excellent job, Matchbox. Good to see this back. All right, we're going to take a very quick break, and when we come back, we're going to show the model that everybody, including myself, has been waiting for, which is the Western Star dump truck. All right, everyone, while I get the Western Star unboxed, I figured I'd throw up the old uh, International 7600 dump truck that we have seen for years now. It's so good to have a new Matchbox dump truck licensed casting come out in the Real Working Rigs line. So, without further ado, here it is, the Western Star 49X. Momentarily, I will leave both of them up there so you can get a good look at both of them. Now, what I want to highlight about this tooling is if you look at the third axle on the back portion of the truck, what is known as in the real world as a drop or a lift axle, that is very cool that they added that. And you'll know, just like the real one, these tires are much, not much, they are considerably smaller than the rest of the wheels on the truck because they are used to help adequately disperse the weight of a fully loaded dump truck. So it's really cool that they went as far as to include that. You'll see, obviously, it hasn't been present on any of the other dump trucks they've done before. Here's what I don't like. Don't like the graphics. Don't like the coloring on the dump box. It's very unrealistic. The only way you would see that is if this is a show truck for Western Star demonstrating the 49X is capable of hauling a heavy-duty dump box. But for customizers, excellent starting point. You can easily strip all those decals off. For the 
cab, the Western Star cab. It reads Dan's Hauler, along with the Western Star logo and Western Star spelled out. Uh, driver carries only matchbox is what is barely legible written in white on the bottom. Another excellent highlight of this tooling, the very realistic and iconic Western Star 49X grill done up in chrome. Looks absolutely incredible. Um, this model, I'm just happy it didn't disappoint. Let's show it what it looks like when it's down. There you go. Now, if you have a Matchbox Real Working Rigs excavator, for example, in your collection, this is an obvious choice to go with it. Again, just so they will both sit on the spin table. Not necessarily a realistic looking pose, but close enough for government work. What, you, what I want to show you now is that if you are an adult collector of, let's say, 187 scale construction equipment, as I am, this is another model that scales out quite well. So here we have a Caterpillar 320DL excavator in 187 HO scale, made by a company called Diecast Masters, for those of you that are not familiar. And... There you go. That is a much more realistic and rep and representative image of just how close it is to being HO scale. So if you want to pick up several of these for your collection, I highly would recommend it. I found these at a local Walmart, and I'll tell you, they must have had four cases of these on the pegs, but there were only two, including this one, Western Star Dump Trucks. The rest they had plenty of extras of. Uh, so I would be interested to know if there's only one of these in the mix one of the dump trucks and several of the other ones that would make complete sense logically so there you go collectors that wraps up this diecast emporium video i hope you have enjoyed it i really hope that you've enjoyed all the content i've tried to put out this year we've delved into some areas i never thought we would get into we've done some uh cooperation and some work with some companies i never thought i'd have the opportunity to work with so it's been an excellent year on my end i really appreciate all of you guys watching and commenting let me know which of these five in this release of real working rigs is your favorite and more importantly let me know why and are you going to be adding any of these to your collection again to end the video i found all of mine at a local walmart so they should be pretty easy uh for those of you that want them to track them down, they should be pretty easy to find. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next Diecast Emporium review.